Whispers of Immortality by T.S. Eliot, read for LibriVox.org by Sarah Davies. Webster was much possessed by death, and saw the skull beneath the skin, and breastless creatures underground leaned backward with a lipless grin. Daffodil bulbs instead of balls stared from the sockets of the eyes. He knew that thought clings round dead limbs, tightening its lusts and luxuries. Dawn, I suppose, was such another, who found no substitute for sense, to seize and clutch and penetrate, expert beyond experience. He knew the anguish of the marrow, the ague of the skeleton. No contact possible to flesh allayed the fever of the bone. Grishkin is nice, her Russian eye is underlined for emphasis, uncorseted, her friendly bust gives promise of pneumatic bliss. The couched Brazilian jaguar compels the scampering marmoset with subtle effluence of cat. Grishkin has a masonette. The sleek Brazilian jaguar does not, in its arboreal gloom, distill so rank a feline smell as Grishkin in a drawing room, and even the abstract entities circumambulate her charm. But our lot crawls between dry ribs to keep our metaphysics warm. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.